ACE inhibitors might seem very confusing at first glance, but a good understanding of what they are and why they are important can help you live a healthier life. First let's consider what ACE stands for. ACE is the acronym for angiotensin converting enzyme or the enzyme in the body that causes arteries to constrict, which in turn can raise your blood pressure. We all know that high blood pressure can create all sorts of problems. By taking medication that inhibits these enzymes the arteries can be more relaxed. So ACE inhibitors not only lower blood pressure, but they can also be helped to improve the heart's ability to pump properly. An interesting side note to ACE inhibitors is that in the early 1900s these drugs were made from the venom of a poisonous snake from Brazil. ACE inhibitors have also been shown to help slow the progression of diabetic kidney diseases, especially in the middle-aged person who has become a victim of type 2 diabetes. By helping the arteries of the kidneys stay relaxed, the ACE inhibitors help to increase proper blood flow to the kidneys as well as the arteries and the bladder. Sometimes your doctor might also want you to take a calcium channel blocker with this used to treat various conditions of the heart and blood vessels such as angina as well as high blood pressure. These drugs work together with ACE inhibitors, but they affect the way calcium passes into the muscle cells. By reducing the amount of calcium going into the muscle cells, they can then relax easier. There are little or no side effects from taking calcium channel blockers however, because they create an action of relaxing and whitening arteries, some people develop flushing and mild headaches. ACE inhibitors together with calcium channel blockers can greatly improve the overall condition of your health and well-being. Taking ACE inhibitors as they have been prescribed for you as well as working closely with your doctor to lower your blood pressure will increase proper circulation to your vital organs as well as your extremities. Remember that patients who suddenly stop taking these types of drugs can have a rapid recurrence of high blood pressure problems. So don't stop taking these medication with first consulting with your doctor. Learn more at ace-inhibitors.com